today in the middle of Anglesey off the North Wales coast. A giant earthworm has been discovered, the size of the Titanic. She said some quite extraordinary things because I went to see her recently and she remembered my birth and she said that, um, you know, the, the umbilical cord was, uh, you know, created just a perfect line between me and my mother and that when she went to cut it, uh, my mother asked her to pause for a moment if, you know, and, and she said, well, it's not normal for me to pause, but I will. And my mother said, would you mind very much lighting a candle before you cut the umbilical cord? And... She pointed to a chest of drawers where there was a candle and some matches, and so the midwife went to the candle and the matches, and she lit the candle, and then she went to cut the umbilical cord. My mother said, do you mind very much drawing the curtains before you cut the umbilical cord? And the midwife said, well, this isn't ordinary, but I don't mind doing so. So she went and she drew the curtains, and the darkness fell in the room, and so the candlelight was suddenly very, very special, you know, very um, fragile in its nature, and it was throwing all kinds of shadows on the walls and the midwife went to cut the umbilical cord and my mother said uh, would you mind very much before you do that just turning the radio on to channel 3 and she said well this isn't ordinary but I will do it and so she put the music on and it's beautiful choir music was playing and the midwife turned around to uh, cut the umbilical cord and my mother said would you mind a moment please um, I would just like to uh, do my hair before you do that could you pass me the brush the hairbrush from over there on the wardrobe and the midwife said well this isn't ordinary but I will do this for you and so she went over and she got the hairbrush my mother brushed her hair all nice and proper and then the midwife was about to cut the umbilical cord and my mother said do you mind just a moment just maybe I could put a little bit of makeup on maybe some lipstick and some eye makeup and the midwife said well that's not ordinary but on this occasion why not so she passed her some makeup and she applied the makeup really quite nicely and the uh, midwife went to cut the umbilical cord and uh, my mother said, oh, would it be possible, please, just to puff up the pillows behind me so that I'm sitting upright before you do this? And the midwife said, well, that's not ordinary, but on this occasion I don't see why not. So she went behind my mother and she puffed up the cushions in the candlelight with the music playing and the darkness all around and the makeup and the hair all nicely done. So my mother like said, mother was really delaying the moment when she separated from you. Well, I don't know, because I asked the midwife, you know, what, what happened next, and she said, well, your mother then said to me as I was going to cut the umbilical cord, could I have a good look at what you're cutting it with? And, you know, the midwife said, well, yes, of course, it's not ordinary, but I'll show you the instrument, and it's kind of like a scissors, but not exactly, and my mother looked at them, and she said, well, would it be possible, please, for you to use this pair? And behind her, um, behind her, um, the pillow just behind her, she had a special pair of scissors that she wanted to use. Um, for this moment and so she said would you mind very much using these scissors and these were the scissors that she had used when she was getting married she made her own wedding dress and she'd used these scissors to cut the wedding dress and so these scissors for her were imbued with love and imbued with one of the biggest adventures of her life and so she passed the scissors to the midwife and said would you mind cutting the umbilical cord with these and the midwife said well it's not ordinary but I don't mind on this occasion
Can I just ask a quick question? Did you question? want to use the bathroom first? No, no, no. Something no, no. about my boat, what? Well, I've just got some little figures that might fit on your... Have you? Yeah. With you now? Yeah. No, I haven't got them on me, but I've got them back at home. Um, I could send them in the post. Oh, that's Hello, a nice yeah, idea. Yeah, that'd be really good. I reckon they're probably the right scale. Well, what are they, like fishermen or what are they? No, they're dancers. They're like, you know, um, I got them from Indonesia, like Indonesian dancers, so... Yeah. I'm not so huge, sure, Hugh, if this isn't an Indonesian boat, this is no, a... Really, but I mean, an Indonesian dancer will want, need to travel from one place to another, maybe... <laughs> no, this is like a model of a boat you would see in Menai Straits, it's not a... I've got an idea. You wouldn't say you know, what you say, someone from Indonesia who dances is not allowed on the Straits on the boat. I'm just saying I've never <laughs> seen Indonesians dance on a boat in the Menai Straits. Okay, if you go to a festival in Manchester, you get Indonesian dancers. All we have to do is invite them down to the Straits and they'll come and we'll put them up for a night and it's like a cultural I, exchange yeah, and we'll go why don't you come on a boat and then suddenly you've got an Indonesia dancer on a boat I've got a brilliant idea and that is that I make small like yellow jackets for them that I can do because I've done that for my children's doll's house figures I can make it out of rubber gloves even and make them like a fisherman's coat fisherman's coat put the coats on the dancers will that make them look well, mm. I, that's more like it, yes, because you, I mean, you would get people from perhaps Indonesia who are sailors, exactly, but not dancers fact. dancing on yep. a boat. But put in a bit of... I was wondering. What? I'm sorry to disturb you and everything. It's all right. I don't think I've said this for quite a long time, probably since I was a little boy, but. I'm deeply in love with you. And if you. It's a bit weird. If you were a woman, I would marry you. <laughs> with all, I will invite all my friends, where, where would you and all married? we would marry down by the river, where and I would who tell. Gets to wear the dress, you or me? I don't mind. We could both I wear want suits. To wear the dress. All right, Dad, you can wear the dress. <laughs> I love to wear a dress. One time, wouldn't you? Oh, I love it. Oh. I love it. I love it, Dad. I, I love like it. To have a tiara. Dad, hug me again. Hug oh, me again. All right, come here, my dad. <laughs> Kiss me on my head! Kiss me on my head! I'm gonna marry you one day, you know that, don't you? Oh, father and son marry, first time ever. Make the front page of the Glengivney <laughs> Times. Eh? Dad? Yes? Shake my hand and tell me when it hurts. Tell you when it was. Yeah, I'm squeezing your hand now. Have tell you started? Yeah, I've started. T tell me when it hurts. Are you sure you've started? Yeah, yeah, tell, tell me when it hurts. Tickles. What? Tickles. Oh, Dad, do it! Oh, Does tell this me. hurt? Ah! Dad, that really hurt! Stop it! It's, I'm not doing anything. Stop to it! You. Seriously, get off that! I'm off. not Flip. even doing anything Flip to you. Flipping heck, Dad! I almost broke my fingers. I want to go for.